are grade 7 learners and welcome to another fun adventure together. This is Teacher Rachel and let's enjoy and have fun in learning English. Before we begin to our lesson, let us have first our opening prayer. So may I request everyone to have a moment of silence, please. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Gather, Father, be with us today, as we are living together, loving you and each other, and learning in Christ to follow your way. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord, Amen. Good morning class! It's another brand new day, another day to learn and another day to enjoy. So welcome to my English class. This is again my Rachel Llorente, your English subject teacher. But before we begin class, let us have first a word attendance. Okay, in the our live chat, just comment down below your name with corresponding word present. For today's lesson, you will need a self-learning module, an activity notebook, and a pen. So what are you waiting for? Sit back, relax, and enjoy as we learn another lesson for today. Good day, dear learners. Our topic for today is all about multimedia resources. For today's lesson objectives, first, define multimedia, second, identify the components of multimedia, and third, give the uses of multimedia. As a learner, you need different kinds of resources as you study. Apart from economic resources, you also need resources that will help you easily understand the lessons and help you successfully perform the task. Here comes technology. Technology is specifically multimedia resources that will help you ease the learning job. After completing this lesson, you should be able to use correct and appropriate multimedia resources when orally giving information, instructions, making explanations, and narrating events in personal or factual recounts. Before starting this lesson, Let's find out what you already know about multimedia resources and their use. Write the letter of the correct answer in your notebook or in your activity. Number 1. If you were just simply asked to write a narration of your most unforgettable experience, what source would you likely use? A. Text B. Audio C. Video Number 2. What multimedia resources allows you to combine the use of text, images, and other media such as audio clips and videos? A. Text B. Audio C. PowerPoint slides Number 3. What multimedia resource is best to use if you were tasked to explain gravity through a demonstration? A. Audio B. Video C. PowerPoint slides Well done! Now let us check your answers. For number 1, we have letter A. Text Number 2, letter C. PowerPoint slides And number 3, letter B. Video Very good! You seem to have an idea about multimedia resources. Now, let's have a quick activity. In your activity notebook, list two names of cell phone applications and two names of software or programs installed in your smartphone or computer that are helpful in your study. You may have written applications such as Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, 
PDF, YouTube, WPS, and many others. These are the common multimedia resources when we give information, explanations, and instructions. The question now is, what is multimedia? Multimedia is an interactive media and provides multiple ways to represent information to the user. It provides an interaction between users and digital information as a medium of communication. Multimedia is also used extensively in education and other areas like training, reference material, business presentations, advertising, and documentaries. Here are the five components of multimedia. We have number one, text, number two, graphics, three, audio, four, video, and number five, we have animation. What about we are going to read again the five components for mastery? Please read after me. Number one is text. Please say text. Very good. Number two, we have graphics. Say graphics. That's great. And number three, we have audio. Say audio. Very good. And number four, we have video. Say video. That's great. And finally, number five, we have animation. Please repeat animation. Very good. So again, the five components of multimedia are text, graphics, audio, video, and animation. This time, let us learn multimedia while having fun. So now, for us to identify what components of multimedia is being described and for us to know the uses of multimedia, we are going to have this identification game. You are going to choose from the components of multimedia, will it be text, graphics, audio, video, or animation. For number one, it is the most common multimedia element. All multimedia productions contain some amount of this component. It can have various types of fonts and sizes. The correct answer is text. Nice try! Let us have an example of text. An example of text is a friendly letter. Why? Let us try to see this example. The friendly letter has text with font and sizes. Alright, let's move on to number 2. Again, choose from the 5 components. It can be text, graphics, audio, video, or animation. For number 2, it makes the multimedia application attractive. It represents non-text information such as drawings, photographs, charts, tables, graphs, etc. It is also used more often than text or explain a concept and to represent background information. Now, what is your answer? Wow, that's correct. The answer is graphics. So graphics is makes multimedia application attractive. For example, we have photographs, drawings, charts, tables, and graphs. So that's it. We have here an example of graphics. What example is the photograph of our national hero, Dr. Jose Perizal? There you have it. Let's go to number three. So again, choose from the five components. It can be text, graphics, audio, video, or animation. And for number three, it is multimedia application that may require the use of speech, music, and sound effects. These are sounds that can be added and combined with all other media types in so many ways. Now, what's your answer? The correct answer is audio. Very good. So when we say audio, it is multimedia application that may require to use speech, music, and sound effects. And of course, we have here an example of audio. 
which is our national anthem, Lupang Hinirang. Shall we listen to our example audio? So there you have it. When we say audio, it has speech and sound effect. We have here number 4. Again, choose from the 5 components. You have text, graphics, audio, video, or animation. Number 4, it refers to the moving picture accompanied by a sound like television picture. It gives a lot of information in a small duration of time. This is useful in multimedia application for showing real-life objects. What's your answer, class? Yes, the correct answer is video. Very good. This time, we have an example video. So our example is the movie Titanic. Now, let's move on to the final component. Again, choose from the five components. We have text, graphics, audio, video, or animation. And we have here the last choice. It is the process of making a static image look like it is moving. It is just a continuous series of still images that are displayed in a sequence. The answer is animation. So we have here the example of animation. And what is that? This is from the famous The Lion King. So there you have it, the example of animation or an example of animated film with moving pictures. To recap, what are the five components of multimedia resources? That's correct. So first we have text. What about number two? It's graphics. And number three? Amazing, it's audio. What about number four? Yes, it's video. Correct. And number five we have perfect, it's animation. Again, please do not forget the five components of multimedia. Shall we read them again? Okay, all together we have text, graphics, audio, video, and animation. This time, let us check your understanding of our lesson. Choose the letter of your answer and write it in your notebook. Let's begin. So number one, if you were asked to write a narration of your most embarrassing experience, what resource would you likely use? A. Text B. Audio C. Video Now, let us check. The correct answer is... Yes, letter A. Text Have you got the correct answer? Wow, very good! For number 2, what multimedia resource allows you to combine the use of text images and other media such as audio clips and movies a text b audio c powerpoint slides now let's check so what's your answer yes letter c powerpoint slides did you get the correct answer great job number three what multimedia resource can best present if you were tasked to explain gravity through demonstration a audio b video c powerpoint slides let's check the correct answer is yes letter b video very good number four what does a capital gif stands for a graphic image filter B. Graphic image files or letter C. Graphic image filing So what's your answer? The correct answer is letter B. Graphic image files Who got the correct answer? 
Wow, many! So, very good! And for the last question, what do videos combine? A. Moving pictures, sound, text. B. Moving pictures, images, sound. C. Moving pictures, images, sound, text. And who got the correct answer for our last question? Wow, there's a lot. It's letter C. Moving pictures, images, sound, and text. Who got a perfect score? Wow, very good. There's a lot. Meaning to say, everyone understands our lesson for today. Congratulations, class, for doing a great job. I know you can do it. I hope you learned something from me, class. Until next time, and have a nice day, everyone. This is your teacher advisor, Mrs. Rachel Onyatin Llorente, embracing a new normal education. Goodbye and happy studying, guys!